Good morning, boys and girls. I'm Mrs. Hallberg at Second Baptist Church, and I am so excited that you've joined me today for our virtual Sunday School. Well, we have been talking about David and Jonathan all month, and today is our last Sunday with David and Jonathan. So in your Bible book, then if you have it at home, you can look, and we're in 1 Samuel, we're in chapter 20, and then we're doing verses 1 through 42 just a lot because we're kind of reviewing our story today. And if you want to look up our Bible verse, we're in Proverbs 17, and we are talking about friendship. And it says in Proverbs 17, 17, it says, a friend is always loyal. And remember, that means that you help your friend, you care for your friend, you, um, you support them, I remember last week Pockets was talking about stick up for your friends, which means that anytime your friend needs you, then you're available to help. Not just one friend, but many friends. So we're going to review a little bit in our story and then continue on today and find out what happens to David. So in our big book, David, Jonathan, remember, was the prince and David was the shepherd boy and he had fought the Goliath in battle. And when he did, he became a hero. And Jonathan is sharing his sword and helmet, all of his armor with David. And they just became best friends. They were like brothers. They were so very close and they loved each other a lot. Well, as David went on with his battles, remembered that God was with him, so he kept winning and winning. And King Saul, who is Jonathan's father, became very jealous. And remember last week that he was not behaving himself and he wasn't treating David well. And one day when David was playing his harp, then Saul got very angry and he threw a spear at David. He was actually trying to kill David. And here David is just being sweet and playing his harp. And the king Saul has thrown a spear well, Jonathan was in the background and he was just so shocked because he couldn't believe that his father would do something so bad. So Jonathan and David came up with a plan and they decided they better figure out what was going on. Well, King Saul declared at dinner that he thought David should be killed. So here's King Saul and he's coming up with this plan and Jonathan hears the plan that he that king saul wants anybody to kill david so david and jonathan come up with a plan that they're going to let david leave for two nights like not come to supper because remember david lives in the palace with jonathan and so jonathan is talking to his father at supper and david, and jonathan finds out he's really True, he really wants to kill David. He's afraid David has gained so much popularity that he will become the next king, when really after Saul would come Jonathan because Jonathan's the oldest son. So here he is at dinner and Jonathan is just so surprised. Do you know Saul gets so mad? He throws a spear at his own son, at Jonathan. So he is going to stick up for his friend David. So the plan was that Jonathan was going to shoot an arrow into the sky. And if he told his servant, go further, go further to find the arrow, then, then um, David would know that he needed to stay away and that things were bad. And here is David, I'm sure you can't see it, but he's hiding behind a rock. And there he is, and he sees the arrow going far into the sky. So he knows that things are bad and that he is never going to be able to live with Jonathan again. He's not gonna be in the palace. He's not going to be able to um, be with his friend. So they decide that they are going to, they just meet together and they are going to talk. And they cry and they hug and they talk about how you will always be friends in our hearts. We won't be together, but we'll be friends no matter what in our hearts. So they'll always be praying for each other. They'll always be thinking about each other. They just physically won't be together. So there they are at the end and things are looking a little bit sad. But what happens after that 
is that um, they go, uh, David continues going into, um, Jonathan, sorry, continues going into battle, and Saul and Jonathan were killed in a battle. Now, God has had the plan all along that he wanted David to be king. So David becomes king of Babylon, and uh, I'm sorry, David becomes king, and he is a very good king because God is with him. So he's a very, very good king. And David liked to build things, and he liked to continue playing on his harp. And in the Bible, the book of Psalms, a lot of those are poems or songs that David wrote. He also was a great builder, and he built up his country very well. David also found out about that Jonathan had a son, and Jonathan's son couldn't walk, he was lame. And David brought him to the palace, and the son of Jonathan was able to live in the palace, and David took care of him. So true friends really do stick together through years and years. So let's learn then and think about it that what our point is today is that God wants us to be good, loyal friends. He wants us to take care of each other. And he wants us to know that even when we're apart, we're still loving each other in our hearts. Huh, I had a rhyming word. I didn't even know it. Well, let's see what Pockets is up to today. Hey, Pockets. Oh, oh, what's wrong, Pockets? <laughs> I'm sad today. Well, what's wrong? <clears throat> I don't have Hoppy, my friend. Well, where's Hoppy? Fisting his grandmother. Oh, I see. So you're just a little bit sad about that today? Yes. I don't like it when Hoppy's not around. Oh, is, is Hoppy one of your friends like Sarah? Yes. Remember, he came a couple weeks ago. Oh, that's right. Hoppy did come a couple of weeks ago. That's right. So, well, what's the problem? I'm sure that Hoppy will be back soon. Yeah, but I'm afraid he's going to forget me. Oh, I see. So were you thinking about because you're apart, then Hoppy's not going to remember you? Yeah. When he comes back, he won't be my friend. Oh, I think he'll definitely be your friend. You know what? We were just talking with David and Jonathan, and you don't forget your friends. Yeah? No, you don't. You always remember them right in your heart. Okay, I guess that's good. In fact, what do I see in your pocket? Is that a heart? Yes, it is. It's a heart. Did you make this? Yes, I did. Oh, it says, sometimes we're together, sometimes we're apart. And wherever we are, you are in my heart. Friends care for each other, even, even when they are apart. That's very catchy, Pocket. You made that up? Yes, that's how I feel. Okay, well, that's great. Well, let's put it back in your pocket because I know you want to give it to Hoppy when you see Hoppy, right? Yes, I do. Well, I think if you look a little bit over to the right, I think Hoppy is getting ready to come. Really? Okay, Hoppy! There is Hoppy. Hey, Hoppy. Oh, we are so glad that you could come. Yes, now you can be happy because you've got both your friends there. Oh, that's super. Okay, well, how would y'all like to listen to the rhyme that we have today? It's about David and Jonathan, and it's about their friendship, okay? David and Jonathan were friends. Their love for each other would never end. When David was afraid of mean King Saul, he hid far away in the grass so tall. Now, Jonathan helped David know what to do. When he shot the arrows, how high they flew. The arrows warned David that the king was mad. And David must flee from Prince Jonathan's dad. The good friends were sad to say goodbye. They knew that they must or David might die. David and Jonathan were two good friends and their love for each other would never end. So that's our nice rhyme today. I saw some of you made some harps last week and I was so proud of you. If you want to make our friends that are sticking together today, it's not too hard. You're just going to take your paper and fold it into thirds and then you're going to draw yourself in the middle and then when you cut it out, you'll have three. 
So you can be in the middle and your friends can be in on each side. So friends do stick together. Let's see our prayer now. We're going to fold our hands and close our eyes and bow our heads so we're all set. Thank you, God, for our friends. And help us always be a true and loyal friend to others. We pray for you to take care of us and take care of our friends, even when we cannot be near them. In Jesus' name, amen. It was great seeing you boys and girls, and I hope you'll come back next week. We're going to start a new lesson about Daniel. Bye, I love you.